Hey everybody, so this is going to be a quick first impressions on a new mascara that I picked up. This is called the Blink Mascara, and I actually got a little duo pack. They're both travel size. I got the original Blink Mascara and the Blink Mascara Amplified. So it came in a tube like that. The mascaras themselves, I've only opened up the Amplified one. They basically look identical in packaging anyways. I decided to go with Amplified one because why not go for more if you can. I figure I'd just tell you a little bit about it before you see me applying it. It's a tube forming, tube forming, water resistant mascara that gives buildable uh, glamorous volume with no smudging, flaking, running, or clumping. So that's an interesting claim. It's tube forming. I read that to get it off you just use some water and the, the tubes come off. So I'm curious how it comes off. Um, after almost a decade in development, Blink Mascara Amplified provides incredible buildable volume and length, all while offering their signature life-proof properties of the original Blink Mascara. So it's smudge-proof, sweat-proof, water-resistant, and flake-proof. Um, it coats lashes with glossy, volumizing, and extending coat that forms tiny, water-resistant tubes around the lashes. But unlike the first formula, this one amplifies or applies more like a traditional mascara, giving you the ability to add as many coats as you want. Interesting. So I guess I'll have to try out the original too, because it sounds like it's going to be a bit different. It comes in black and brown. The full size retails for $26. Uh, that's not what it cost me for the travel size. It says it's a $30 value. And I forget what I paid for this. Maybe $15? It's on Sephora.com. If you want to try out both. I'm just trying to see if there's any other info on it. Nope. That's pretty much it. So now I'm going to show you myself applying it. Alright, so that's what the wand looks like there. It's a pretty big size bristle brush in comparison to my eye. I'm just gonna let it focus. There we go. Alright, let's do this. Right off the bat, the formula feels really dry. Insanely dry. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's just very dry. It was actually really hard just to get that coat on, just because how dry it is. I'm going to dip it right back in. Maybe because it's new, it doesn't have a lot of product on it. There we go. A little bit better. Actually quite light. I like the brush. It's not too hard, but it's also not too plush. It's like the perfect amount of squishiness, <laughs> if that's a thing. So this is second coat. And for my lashes, which suck, that's pretty good. It's not clumping. It's not flaking, it's definitely lengthening, and it's volumizing. Not crazy though, because it's it's not one of those spidery type ones. It's not crazy volume, but it's just enough. And it's not drying too quickly, I can keep going through it. Show you from this side. I'm gonna try the other eye. All right, let's try for those bottom lashes. It's actually pretty easy considering how big the wand is. All right, those are the finished eyelashes. Down. That's actually really good for my eyelashes. So my final thoughts, I like the mascara. I think it did a really good job with my lashes. Um, I'm really interested to see how it comes off at night with the whole tube thing. As far as whether or not I'd buy it, I don't, I don't think for somebody who doesn't deal with a lot of smudging or 
um, running or flaking with regular mascara, I don't think it's worth the investment because it is a pricier mascara. I do think it's going to hold up quite well just given the texture and the way it applied. So I think if you had that issue, it might be something to look at, look into. I don't have that issue with smudging typically, so it's not something that I'm going to go out and purchase the full size of, but it definitely did do a nice job of my lashes. So I think that's about it. If you have any questions, let me know. And thanks so much for watching. Bye!